The Los Lunas superintendent says it's all about money. Well, Los Lunas was once one of the state's fastest growing cities. They say enrollment at its schools is down and they have to cut somewhere. Now they're considering closing one school altogether. News 13 Scott Daniels is here with the story. Kim, the superintendent says it needs to be done. Closing the school could save millions of dollars. I love it. It's perfect size. The teachers are awesome. So hopefully we'll come back here again next year. It's one of the oldest schools in the Los Lunas School District, but Daniel Fernandez Elementary might soon be a thing of the past. Superintendent Bernard Seiss couldn't talk with us today on camera, but over the phone he told us his plan to close this school will save at least half a million dollars every year. And after facing budget cuts school year after school year, they need to find relief. Pending tonight's vote, kids from Daniel Fernandez could move to one of the three other elementary schools closest to their homes beginning next year. No, I had no clue about anything. Parents are frustrated, but the school district says they've lost almost $3 million to its budget this year because of low enrollment at its schools. It's down 200 students since last year. The district blames the economy and lack of jobs in the area that's forced families to move. The other schools have unused classrooms to accommodate the children if their school closes. Bus routes will change to accommodate them. The superintendent says teachers and other employees will not lose their jobs. They too will be transferred to other campuses. But parents still have questions. They should have given paperwork or something for let us know at least a heads up. But the district says the meeting was advertised in the local newspaper and it's been in the works for three years. 250 children go to Daniel Fernandez now. It's not having any more problems than the other schools. It's just more centrally located to the other three. I've seen a new playground back there and that's kind of concerning that they spent the money on that and now they might close the school. It's our tax money. Daniel Fernandez Elementary also received a low grade for its performance by the state. The superintendent says closing the school has nothing to do with that. He says it's all about the money. I do plan on going to the meeting. I'd like to see what's what they're going to do about it, and I would vote for it to stay open if I could. I spoke with the school board president, and he said they have discussed voting for the superintendent's plan as long as closing the school means they won't have to fire teachers. The meeting starts at 6 and is open to the public. It's being held at the district's administration building. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Scott. Now, if the plan does not pass, the superintendent says they'll have to come up with another way to cut half a million dollars every year.